Hi, I'm Randy Altman with Post Perspective. We're here at NEV 2019. This is Will Harris from Autodesk. Will, you guys just announced new Flame, Flame 2020, and yep. there's a lot to talk about within that release. But what's really cool is the machine learning aspect. So can you talk about what what that does for a creative? What Where does it help them go? Yes, certainly. So thanks very much for having us, Randy. This is very cool. And we're, yeah, we're excited because we seem to have a real sort of uh, stonker of a release this year. <laughs> and uh, the machine learning specifically has been, I think, gathering attention from far and wide. Um, we, we took a very specific approach to our customers' problems where people would say to you, yeah, we wish we could do rotoscoping without hand. Oh, yes. We wish we could uh, isolate parts of the image for color grading and for compositing. And uh, you know, er earlier, you know, a, a months back, our developers uh, realized that they could actually use machine learning to do that. So we're not trying to you know, take away the artist, any artistic aspect or right. replace the artist. It's simply to take the tasks that are you know, hours and hours of work the sometimes. The more tedious and time consuming tasks. So yep. you're taking that out and you're actually allowing to, them to be more creative. Absolutely. And, and have more control over their work. And, and a good illustration would be, if you think about the, the render passes you get from a CG render, if you have a, you know, an animal or a spaceship, you can not only get the beauty image, but you can, you can get from your CG renderer, you can get a Z depth or depth from camera. Okay. You can get normals render pass or other AOVs, arbitrary output variables. That is only available from a CG render. Whereas if you look at the a camera plate or you know, shot live action, mm -hmm. you have nothing. You just have the beauty image and you don't have any of that metadata or depth information uh, that can inform depth of field, could inform uh, displacement, could actually allow you to relight human faces like you can when you have render passes from CG. So what we were, what we were able to do here is to use machine learning to generate depth for live action uh, photography, moving, moving photography, and generate normal maps for live action human faces as they move around in, a, in, video, in the video frame. And that's all new in 2020, and that's all that's thanks right. to machine learning. Yes, so, so it, and, it, and it, it just gives us a, a, another tool in the toolbox, if you will, to then use in combination with traditional masking, keying tools, to be able to do things that you could, you could never do on live action content, um, and be able to relight a human face quite dynamically, um, but also be able to you know, apply depth in a scene that had no depth of field effect. Right. Or maybe you want to do color grading in the back of the scene, or you want to isolate characters in the foreground, or a, a kind of a zone in your shot, and apply color, apply you know, um, matchbox effects, which is our GLSL shaders, to apply effects in different segments of the image. So image segmentation. What other, um, if you want to just name a couple of more tools that are in the new, the yeah. new release. So we, we also did a, a bunch for productivity. We added background reactor rendering automatic in the timeline. Okay. So if you go beyond what you can do real time, if you're doing color grading or effects work, uh, when you step away from that shot, it will automatically render the previous shot you were on. So just keeping up with our artists. Sure. Um, that we made that work even on a single GPU. We also added some sort of new user-friendly features, new UI components that are, are going to be a bit more familiar to people that are not so deep into the advanced tools of Flame. Okay. So like the multiple color wheels for people that are coming from you know, other color grading tools, mm -hmm. but also a, a Photoshop layer manager style manager tool for a sort of a simple way of drag and drop authoring as you build inside your 3D scene. Interesting. So would you say that Flame of Today is easier to um, to learn than, than in the past? So, yeah. I mean, there might be some young people out there who might just be intimidated by the name Flame. What, what can you tell them about, about getting into the system? It's easier than ever, basically. We have 30-day trial on Mac. We're just adding 30-day trial on Linux in this release as well. Uh, there's a, thousands of hours of training material out there now. Um, and it, we've, we've been continually trying to you know, sort of improve the, the simplicity 
of getting started in Flame. So whether it's doing a conform, doing NLE type editing stuff, that might be the first three months all you do in Flame these days as you're learning, but then there's all the compositing tools. There's the action environment, there's the batch procedural comp area to learn and to grow into, and that's or the way most people approach it. Interesting, so different steps to get yeah. to get to know the tool. That's pretty cool. And you guys are also really good about highlighting uh, the work of your artists. Uh, is there there's a special place on your site where people could go there to is. see that? Yeah, we, we've had, our, uh, uh, over the, the last couple of years, we've had a couple of campaigns highlighting sort of artists and, and the community um, and, and really just how amazing uh, flame artists are. There's even a competition out there called One Frame of White which is where, set up by the, the users themselves, they challenge uh, the, uh, the, basically any artist to start with a single white frame and produce anything they can. And they, they produce 3D worlds of modeling and lighting and effects, because there's so much in the box that you can create from nothing. Very cool. <laughs> is there anything that I haven't asked about the new version that is important? I would say rounding out the new version is, is worth mentioning that we're adding full support for OFX, so OpenFX okay. plugins, as well as CryptoMat. And that's the technology coming from your 3D renderer, adding extra render passes that can produce mats for any object in the scene. So it's a kind of an ingenious way of, of not having to ask your 3D guy for thousands of mats. Gotcha. <laughs> Very cool. Where can, um, where can people go to find out more about this release and your other products? Right to autodesk.com slash flame. Uh, we look forward to people checking out Flame 2020. Sounds great. Thanks so much, Will. Will Harris from Autodesk. I'm Randy Altman with Coast Perspective. Thank you.